Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. For today I wanted to just have a quick chat with you about basically sharing an update on some health things that have been going on lately. I would love for things to be, you know, like really nice and happy and like easy all the time but that's not life and that's not real life so as many of you will probably know by now i am a long time sufferer of uh poor mental health have been since i was very very young and becoming pregnant obviously can have a substantial effect on your emotions your hormones everything is changing your body is changing you're going through a massive life experience uh, you know, your body's preparing to give birth, you're preparing physically and mentally to embark on becoming a parent or becoming a parent again, if you're already a parent. And because I have suffered from my poor mental health for so many years prior to even becoming pregnant, I did wonder how my mental health was going to be affected by becoming pregnant. And during the first weeks of pregnancy, I was like, okay, at the moment, I'm feeling all right. But then as I gotten into the second trimester, things started to change. It's been a little bit rocky for me. I'm not going to sit here and lie. So I reached out for some help. The thing is, you guys, a lot of people maybe doubt themselves about going to get help and that's completely understandable. I didn't start getting help mentally for years and years and years and years and I really do regret that. I wish that I'd gotten help sooner. I chose to be referred to the pregnancy mental health team and they were pretty quick to get back to me on sorting out an appointment time which fabulous that's what you want. Uh, that's what you want with any mental health service, whether you're pregnant or not. Anyone who is struggling should get help as quickly as possible. Um, and so basically, I made an appointment up at my local hospital to have an assessment done. And that appointment has come and gone. I got assessed. And originally, what the plan was by the lovely lady who assessed me was that I was to go back to a therapy service which I have previously tried back um, a year or two ago, I think. And I didn't particularly have the best time with that service. Uh, I feel as though I got messed around a little bit with it. I was having trouble with appointment times. The times of my appointment was constantly being changed and every single week I had to contact them in order to double check what time my appointment was because it was a nightmare. Quite a few of the appointments, uh, my therapist was late but she would never make up the time with me. I understand at times, you know, people can be late, delays can happen, that's completely fine. But obviously it happened quite a few different times and she would never make up the time that was lost. Yeah, basically they were going to refer me back to that specific place and that's what ended up happening uh so i went for a separate assessment with this place that i had been to before the lady who was assessing me there basically was saying how she needed to go off and speak to her managers after the assessment there was a bit of toing and froing calling here and there blah 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 and the bottom line is they basically said I don't think that we can help her at the moment, obviously meaning me. Um, so basically I'm being referred to another service which I've never ever tried before. I feel like a lot of people forget that with mental health it fluctuates or it can fluctuate quite a lot. If you're getting assessed on a day where you're feeling not too bad or you're being assessed on a day where you're feeling really bad the outcome can be very, very different. So I feel like a lot of people do tend to forget that mental health can fluctuate. And just because somebody is having quite a good day one day, it doesn't mean that they're consistently having good days. And it doesn't mean that they're not struggling and that they don't need the help. 
I've done this sort of therapy stuff before in the past when I wasn't pregnant and I understand that the waiting lists can be very very long and then sometimes the actual services that they offer when you do finally get around to using the services and the therapy it's not as good as what it can be. I'm interested to see if I can learn some new techniques, learn some kind of new theories, learn some new things that will help me uh, progress. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I do hope that you guys are all taking care of yourselves. You're all keeping safe. And I very much hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.